All right, hell yeah. So we have uh, statics. It's an engineering class. What we're going to do is try to do every problem in the book. You know what I mean? We'll see how far we get. But this is just first chapter stuff. I love it because, uh, you know what I mean? We have the Newton's Laws, F equals MA. And this is what this is going to center around in the next few problems where, you know what I mean? We're used to like, hey, having Newtons over here, kilograms over here, uh, but it's just a relationship between kilograms and then meters per second squared. You know what I mean? And then if we're on Earth, this meters per second squared is going to be a constant. You know, wherever we are on Earth, whether on top of Mount Everest, the lowest point in the ocean, you know what I mean? In that range, acceleration is 9.81. It doesn't really change too much. So anyway, um, so that's why if you if you can find the force of something, like the weight of something, it's synonymous with the, its mass in kilograms, you know what I mean? Where we, we think our weight don't change, you know, because we're everywhere around the Earth, we're not going to feel lighter, you know what I mean? I do say it's kind of fun, like the Earth does spin around the equator, so if you do go to the equator, you might you might weigh like four ounces, eight ounces lighter than you would at the North Pole, um, because, uh, well, actually, you know, a combination of factors. North Pole is closer to the center of the Earth because of the bulge, but I'm just talking about the, the rotation of the Earth. It's trying to fly you off. You're trying to get flung off, so that's going to be a reduction in weight. But anyway, um, so, uh, so we have this idea that, uh, you know what I mean, Newton's, the, the force in like Newton's is very synonymous with the, uh, well, and then this equation just says, hey, anywhere where you have newtons, you can replace newtons with kilograms meters per second squared. You can replace these units in the same thing. If we ever see kilograms meters per second squared, we can replace that with the force. You know what I mean? So these, these, th that's the concept here. All right, so it wants to know uh, when a rigid body of mass M undergoes plane motion, its kinetic energy, hell yeah, is uh, one half mv squared. Uh, this is its uh, you know motion just linearly, and then we have it might be rotating while it does it. You know what I mean? So uh, something is rotating, but then also translating. So here's its rotational. You know what I mean? Th this is your radians, which is essentially degrees. Um, you know what I mean? Degrees of rotation per second. Degrees of rotation per second. Uh, a lot of a lot of ways we uh, know radians. Uh, you know, we're, we're kind of familiar with, we get a drill, is going to be in uh, uh, RPM, RPM, revolutions per minute, you know what I mean? It's a thousand RPMs, so just what's, what's, a, what's that in RPS, revolutions per second, it's going to be less or more? Well, if you have a thousand revolutions per minute, a whole minute, you're only going to get a thousand of them. Every second, you know what I mean, you're, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get ten of them. You know what I mean? What I did there was just say, hey, 60, instead of 60 uh, minutes, in a, I just did 100. You know what I mean? Let's just make it easy. Because I'm not doing 1,000 divided by 60. I don't know what that is, but I do know what 1,000 divided by 100 is. Hell yeah. So that's going to be uh, 10. So, you know, I mean, it's close to 20. 20 rounds per second. You know what I mean? Um, uh, and then we know in a circle, uh, we have 360 degrees. You know what I mean? So we know what one revolution is. So rounds. So if we have uh, if we have uh, like twenty rounds per second, what is this? What is this? This is twenty revolutions um, per second, and we know that one revolution is equal to three hundred and sixty degrees. You know what I mean? A little little Sean White doing three sixties or something. Anyway. Um, but we, we typically don't know what the hell a radian is. We'd know what a diameter is, and we'd know what a radius is. So all a radius says, hey, if you take this length right here and then wrap it around the circle, you'll probably get to about there. And then do it again, you'll probably get to about there. Do it again, and, uh, and it's going to take it's gonna take about six of these, six radiuses, draped around a circle to get all the way around. And it actually... It actually uh, takes a little bit more. You'll you'll come up short because it's 6.28 um, uh, radians in, in uh, one uh, revolution. So there there you go. So you got 6.2. So here here's your equation: 6.28 radians 
uh, in one revolution, other ways you could write this is 6.28 radians is equal to one revolution, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, this number is 2 pi, because pi is 3.14, and if you uh, double it, you get 8, 2, 6, you get 6.28. So that's kind of where this comes from, and so basically it's just 2 pi radians. But the second you write it like that, and don't put a number on it, it be kind of comes a, a mystery. You know, you kind of don't know what the hell's going on. Um, <clears throat> but there you go. So this problem deals with uh, radians, so we kind of had to, uh, you know, do a little quick little tutorial about that. Kinetic energy. Energy is just uh, in newton. So here, here's the units for kinetic energy. It's usually newton meters. But a as you can see, you know what I mean. Right here you have a mass. So, we're, so right there you got kilograms, and right there you have uh, a velocity squared. So that's going to be meters uh, squared, second squared. You know what I mean. So how how is this equal to newton meters? You know what I mean? You might be like, well, how, how the hell are these two the same? Well, like we said, we go back to our F equals MA. We can say that, hey, we, uh, anytime that we see, and we can do this more. We can just say, hey, all I see is a kilogram. And so if I see a kilogram, I'm just going to uh, take newtons divided by meters times second squared. So kilograms is newtons um, times second squared divided by meters. Okay, well, it looks like I, I see kilograms right there. So I'm just going to go Newton, second squared, divided by meters. And I'm going to multiply that by meters squared, second squared. Okay, so uh, seconds goes away, uh, one of these meters goes away, and I'm left with Newton meters. All right, cool. So that's how... That's how if you started this problem, you're just like, well, I, I was, I was going to get something that didn't look anything like... Uh, because it says express the units of kinetic energy in terms of, uh, and, and this K, we'll do that in a second, in terms of the base units of the SI system and the U.S. customary system. But you need to know that the base units of kinetic energy or energy in general is Newton meters. So how the hell do you get there? You have to use this F equals MA because you wouldn't have got there. You would have said, hey, this is kilograms, meters, squared, seconds squared, and now I don't know what to do. If you wrote that answer down, who knows how much credit you would get. Um, and, uh, and I guess in U.S. customary, is it pounds, feet? Is it foot-pounds? That, that, that's the energy. Energy is in foot-pounds. I mean, uh, pounds, feet, pounds. I don't know how the hell you say that. Pounds times feet. Um, yeah, isn't it? Oh, that's like, it's so interesting that this is the definition of torque to energy. You know what I mean? You have pounds. Uh, anyway. Okay, so let, let, let's do that. Uh, so what would be our... So our mass, our mass uh, is going to be in slugs. So we're going to have a slug. Our uh, velocity is going to be in feet per second. We got to square that. Okay. So now this is going to give us slugs, uh, feet squared, second squared. Again, we have no idea what the hell this means. So we're going to write F equals m a, and we're going to write uh, pounds is equal to slug uh, feet per second squared. So any one of these, we can be like, hey, oh, I see that we have a slug, I see that we have the seconds, and we have one one of these feet, but we got two of them. So I can just say, hey, that that's pounds feet, you know. Or, or we can do it the same way to be like, um, uh, I just want to, uh, um. I see that we have a slug, and I want to get rid of that. So we're going to write this equation as slugs is pounds, uh, second squared divided by feet. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go pounds, second squared divided by feet, and then uh, uh, times feet squared divided by second squared. Second squared's cancel, one of the feet's cancel, and now we got pounds feet. Cool. All right, so uh, let's grab another sheet of paper. Now, in these videos... I want to work on a few things. One is kind of chilling out. I, I just get so manic doing these. So that, that was the deal. It's just like, well, why can't you just slow it down? And the other thing is, holy Toledo. Just in the last couple of videos, my, my penmanship has just gotten, oh, that was the deal. This is a 0.7. 
Yeah, yeah, Th these pens are just awful. So yeah, we're back to our thick pen. That makes all the difference in the world. So we're gonna smooth that out. Okay, so we know, uh, so we wanna find this K. And uh, so here's the cool thing about anything, anytime you add terms together, um, if the units over here is Newton meters, the units of this term has to be Newton meters, and the units of this term has to be Newton meters. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like one of those problems where it's just like, hey, you use you you, you find what this value is uh, to get this. You already know mass and velocity, so you use this to find the units of kinetic energy, and then once you found the units of this problem. Uh, or of this uh, subset, or whatever you call it, then you can be like, okay, now this has to be the same units as that. So right here, we can write Newton meters has to equal, um, so uh, the mass is in kilograms, K squared is we don't know, um, and then uh, uh, omega is in radians per second. Now radians is dimensionless, so this is just one over seconds. You know what I mean? So uh, so let's just write that in. So we're going to have one over uh, seconds, and we're going to square that. Cool. So now, uh, um, so we can write this again. I just wanted to get this uh, second. I just wanted to get that square down there. So now what we can do is we can take this seconds and bring it to the top. We can divide by uh, kilograms, and then we'll have over here, we'll still have uh, K squared. So let's do that. So we're going to go uh, Newton meters, seconds goes to the top, divide by kilograms, and this is equal to uh, K squared. Okay. Um, right now, let's... Uh, Let's, let's either get it one way or another. We know that kinetic energy is in terms of uh, Newton meters. Um, well, I mean, I mean th th this is legit, you know what I mean? And you can just take the square root of this. So if you, K, K is just the, um, it's, it's N to the, and if you took the square root of all this, I mean, th this is just N to the one. And then, so if you took the square root of it, it'd be n to the half, meters to the half, seconds, divided by kilograms. Um, uh, kilograms to the half. But if we use this F equals ma, and say kilograms, meters per second squared, and then newtons, and then uh, solve for kilograms, uh, which is newtons second squared over meters and then plug that in right there that might get rid of a lot of terms so uh, so now we're going to do that and we're going to get newton meters on top that hasn't changed Squ second squared divided by newton second squared okay and then uh, meters on top Cool. So we just plug that in, and look, a lot of things cancel. Second squareds cancel. Newtons cancel, and we're just left with meters squared. Cool. Uh, and before we do this, this is all equal to k squared. You know what I mean? So we have uh, meters squared is equal to k squared. So we're going to square root both, both sides, and now we're just left with k. The units on k is meters. You know what I mean? I mean, we could say the units on K is this, but that, that would be a little bit insanity. Um, it, it's, still, it's still legit, um, but it is just nice to go from one to the other. Now, I'm curious on this one. Let's say we did uh, convert Newtons, and we said that, let's say, a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So we're going to go up on top, kilogram... Uh, meters per second squared times meters times second squared seconds cancel divide by kilograms uh, same thing same thing and we were left with meters squared cool is equal to k squared so 
if you left it just like this, you know what I mean, where you have, uh, if you don't convert every, if you don't convert all the forces to, you know, if you don't convert kilograms to newtons uh, over here or convert newtons to kilograms over here, you're just, and you, you have them both, you're going to get just a jumble right here. Be interesting if any students just actually just give up on this problem and write that down. But the next few problems uh, involve this because you do have two systems. You have a fourth fourth length time and a math sorry math mass uh, length time. You know what I mean? And you can't you can't do a force mass length time as your uh, you know what I mean, and, and, uh, and a mass force length time. There's two different uh, schools uh, uh, of, uh, of thought on the base units, and so uh, it's just kind of interesting. Um, yep, so we'll get to those in other problems, but there you go. So that, that was in meters squared, and uh, so now how would you do this in U.S. customary? I think it would be pretty simple. We go pounds meters is equal to uh, uh, slugs k squared uh, 1 over second squared okay and then we know from f equals ma is that a slug is equal to the force pounds divided by feet second squared so we're going to write that in and then we're going to get uh, pounds second squared over feet k squared over 1 over second squared. Second squareds cancel. Um, oh, I, I feel like we uh, I forgot something. So we got slugs. I just tried to do this fast. I don't think. Um, bummer. Oh, this is feet. So a slug is a pound, uh, second squared foot. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, perfect, perfect. And because feet's, feet's below here, you're going to bring that to the top over here. You can get second squared. And then you got pounds on top. You're going to bring that to the bottom. Pounds cancel. And now you're just left with feet squared is equal to uh, k squared. You know what I mean? So we're doing just a, a real hash, hashed up job. But you'll, you'll get the same thing. You'll get down to k squared is equal to feet squared. Uh, but anyway, the take home point is to be like, hey, if I got newtons and kilograms and the units aren't meshing, you can always convert kilograms to newtons and uh, newtons to kilograms. All right, so, so we did it. So uh, K in the U.S. customary units is just feet for that one. K in the SI units is meters. And then uh, this is going to be newton meters or pounds foot uh, in, in the in the SI and U.S. customary system. And that was the answers they wanted. They were like, find uh, this KE units and then the units on K. All right, well, thanks for joining me. And guess what? That's a video.